So I'm going to show how you could use the virtual reality experiment creator site lab and how it can be combined with the MetaQuest Pro for being able to uh, use the face tracking feature to map the uh, face tracking to an avatar and then collect all the data with the um, 63 points of data facial tracking and be able to then save that to a data file and visualize it and play it back. And so the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to um, in the site lab root folder under example scripts mirror demo. If I just start up this uh, virtual mirror file, which you can double click to open, or you can also, if you want to see the code, you can right click and go to edit, and that will open it in the wizard software, which is what site lab is built off of. So now I'm going to choose from hardware. So I'm going to choose the MetaQuest Pro. Click OK. And now I have some different avatars that I've added to a folder, which automatically then will show up here and populate this list. So this is one that I got off Ready Player Me. And you can also cycle through these avatars and add more without having to do any code. It'll just show up here automatically. And so now if I put on the headset and start this application, press the space bar to start. And now you can see that I could see myself in the mirror here, and I could make some different expressions, squint my eyes, move my eyebrows. And this is also doing the hand tracking and body tracking, so I have that going as well. You can see if I make any of expression. And so now. I could also cycle through if I want to different avatars. So this is another Ready Player Me one. And yeah, so I have some various avatars in here. Now if I close this, I press the space bar. Now that data is saved. And now if I go into um, the site lab data folder, which I can change where this it's saved to. You see I have all of the data saved in a CSV format, all the different expressions. And now if I go back to um, run the uh, visualization, I could see, I could choose that data file that I just saved. And then this basically will just show It'll show a line over time showing the um, all of the different expressions that are being tracked. And so this is just one way of visualizing that data. Additionally, if I run this uh, face tracking sliders demo, I could see a um, playback of all the different facial expression data. And this would be all of the different points. So now if I go back into this folder and I have um, a file called mirror config and with that I could choose things like what key I want to swap the avatars with if I wanted to use an external path for the avatars which I could choose that here and this is where I would be able to add whatever avatars I download or if I wanted to change the environment that I'm in I would just change this line here as well as my starting position this would be if I wanted to connect to a Biopack Acknowledge. And if I do that, it'll send triggers over to Acknowledge automatically. And this is also for recording a video. If I wanted to capture a video of that um, scene that I just ran. And this is also the, the code that I could go and I could use this as a template or add this to my existing SiteLab script. And since this is built on SiteLab, you also get all of the eye tracking data and being able to replay things with heat maps and a whole bunch of other things you can see in the documentation. But I could also show you just really quick if I choose just a desktop here and, here and then this is just going to give me a head and hands avatar. And now I can also still go back and 
replay that session as well if I go into the session replay file. And then I choose which trial I just ran. And now this will give me playback. And I got the avatar from the site Ready Player Me, and you can go and create, um, if you're not familiar with Ready Player Me, you can create an avatar just from a single photo, and then you can just then bring it into a, the SiteLab and Vizard software. So this is it in our inspector program. And if you wanted to try this out, you can also try the... Uh, Demo of SiteLab, there's a link below where you could download that in Wizard and try it out and test this out for yourself. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.